Teresa, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Um, this video follows on directly from last week's where we created um, some printed papers, having made some stamps and stencils and masks. If you haven't seen that video, please do go and check it out. I'll, I'll link it later on in a card in the corner. And if I think on, I'll pop a link in the description below as well. If you're not interested in making printed papers, you can create um, today's project using scrapbook papers. You could use plain sketchbook or watercolour paper and create a plain journal. Um, so don't think that you have to have done um, the, the painted and printed papers from last week. You don't have to, but this was just a fun follow on video to show you what you could do um, if you created some papers along with me last week. And I'm making this little accordion book journal double-sided, lots of space for journaling, for collage. Um, you can use it as a little miniature photo album. Um, really simple project. So I'm going to move this out of the way and I'll come back and we'll show you how you create it. So these were the prints that we created last week um, in the video where I showed you how to make some masks and stamps and stencils and created these under the sea themed um, prints. If you didn't watch that video, I'll pop a link up in the corner there. Please do go and have a look. There is a template available for you to download if you want to work on the same sort of shapes that I have, or you're completely free to, to do whatever you want, um, pick, an, pick any sort of designs that you fancy making. But what you're going to do um, for today's project is get a selection of prints as we have here. Um, if you don't have prints, if you're not a printer and you still want to make this project, you could use um, scrapbook paper, coloured card, patterned card. Uh, you know, you can still go ahead and create this project, but th this is a really good way of using the prints that we created previously. So, so that's what my intention is today. And the things I want to decide first is which prints I want to use for the cover of the accordion book we're making today. And I've already decided I want to use this on the outside of the cover and I'm going to use this one on the inside of the cover. So I'm going to set those ones aside um, for a moment because the others which are all going to put them really be part of the accordion, the insides, the pages, these are all going to need to be cut to the same size. And I'm going to be cutting a six by eight inch piece out of each print. Um, obviously, it's going to be six inches in this direction and eight inches in this direction. I'm going to decide whereabouts on the page I want to actually trim it to so that I can get the most interesting part. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you what we've got at that point. So I've trimmed my prints down to six by eight inches and it really does sort of transform them in many ways because you can kind of decide which bits you want on there and get rid of all the messy bits around the edges and they look so much um, so, so more different. There's more impact to them, I think, once they're trimmed. But I've got um, six pages here, six different prints, and I'm going to score them in half centrally um, because we're making six by four inch pages so I've just got my scoreboard if you don't have a scoreboard just fold them and crease them nice and uh, evenly but a scoreboard does the job really quickly and easily so just going to score each of them in half so that we're ready to stick them all together and once they're scored we just want to fold them so that we can get ready to stick them together. Now that these are all folded in half we can begin to stick them together and the way we're going to do this is to form essentially a double-sided um, accordion fold zigzag fold booklet. So I'm going to start with what's going to be the back because it's just a little bit easier because I can then stack the pages. This bit here is going to be attached inside the cover and this is going to fold over so my next page is going to be stuck on like this and we'll fold this way so that it's going to be double sided. It'll, it'll make more sense once I stick them together. So I'm using um, my favourite glue, my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue, just in a fine bottle. You could use a glue stick, um, although I find a glue stick sometimes isn't that strong. You could use double sided tape. But this is part of the reason why I chose to print this on a 
quite a heavyweight paper, lightweight card. It's because I wanted to be able to use a wet glue to stick these together. And, and a lightweight paper tends to buckle up a little bit if it gets wet. So just lining up the folds and the edges. We'll stick that one onto there. Then our next page is going to be stuck like so. So again, popping some glue on. Just lining that up again. Try and keep it nice and square. Our next piece will fold this way and then our final piece now you can either leave it as a whole piece like this and you will have a blank space here um, but I'm going to just trim mine in half so that I don't have any white left over obviously the back one's going to be attached to a cover the front one's going to be free so I'm just going to trim this down this scored line here and then stick it onto this final page and then if you've done this correctly, we should have a completely sort of double-sided selection of prints there. So we can set that aside for now and we can get on with making the cover. Now for the cover, I've taken just some card here. This is like... Um, I think this was out of some packaging actually, sort of cereal box weight. You could just use a heavyweight cardstock. If you've got something like a mount board, um, you could use that indeed, that would be fine. Um, but just something just to give a little bit of sturdiness because I, I just want this to feel more like a hard backed journal when it's finished. So this has been cut to eight and three quarters by six and a half inches. I wanted it just to be slightly larger than the pages inside. And I'm going to score to create a little spine in the centre. So I'm going to get my scoreboard back. And I'm going to score at four and a quarter inches. And four and a half inches. And that's just going to create a little quarter inch spine in the middle, which will just is enough room for our little um, zigzag book to go in the middle. And it's really as, as simple as that. That's our little cover. Now, you need to get the two prints that you saved, that you decided you wanted for the inside cover and the outside cover. And we're going to cut two panels from each one. I'm not going to bother about the spine, but I want a panel for the front and the back on both the inside and the outside. And I'm going to cut this to six by four. And it'll just leave a little border around the edge and I'm just I'm going to be colouring that in with a paint pen or some acrylic paint. So go off to your trimmer and cut yourself to, um, four panels, two from each print at six inches by four inches and we can get ready to start assembling the cover. I've cut my four panels, um, two for the inside and two for the outside and as I just mentioned before I stick them on because there's going to be um, a little bit of a border all the way around the edge. I just want to add some colour to this and I'm going to just use a black um, Posca paint pen. You could use a marker, um, you could use some paint, you could use uh, distress ink, something like that. You know, you could use a coloured piece of card. I just don't have any heavyweight card that, that was black. So I'm just going to go around the edge um, with my pen just got a scrap of card here to catch the excess I mean two minds whether to round the corners or not I quite like rounded corners so I think actually I will just take the corners 
off before I uh, go in there with my paint pen. And not being too fussy because obviously we're, we're putting our print on but just colouring over enough at the edge with this pen that I won't be able to see the bare card. I'm going to do this on the inside as well as the outside. Once the paint pen is dry or your ink's dry, whatever it is that you've used to go around the edge, you want to glue um, the outer panels in place and I've once I've just rounded my corners off to match the corners that I've done on the actual cover itself. So I'm just going to apply some glue like I did before, pop those in place So there's my outer front cover and I'm going to do the outer back cover. Like so. And before I pop the inner panel on, I want to put a little book plate um, on the front. And this is one that's going to be held in place with a couple of brads. So I want to do this before I put something on the inside and it'll hide the, the brads. So just going to decide whereabouts that's going to go. And I think I'm going to pop it in there. Just centering that up and just using a pokey tool or a braddle or something. I'm going to pop a couple of holes through for the brads. make sure they're down as flat as is possible. Move my mat out of the way and I'm going to pop my panel on the inside just to hide that again rounded to the corners and this is where I realise that I don't actually need a piece to fit on the inside at the back because we're attaching our accordion in there. So, you know, bonus points to any of you who noticed that earlier in the video, that we don't actually need a piece to line in there. So that disguises where those brads came through, just tidies it all up on the inside. And as I say, this piece that I'd cut to go in here, I don't need because I'm actually attaching this like so. So applying some glue to the back of our accordion insert. And then that fits inside like that. And our accordion pages open up for us to be able to decorate on either side. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of card to fit inside here. 
So I've just taken a little alphabet stamp and a black ink pad and stamped the word journal on a piece of card, popped it in there and I can call this done really. We've got plenty of space here on our pages both on this side and on the other side um, for collaging, journaling, you could take some paint pens and add some extra detail in there. Um, I'm going to leave it up to you what you do with it. I mean I might uh, at some point in the future if I've gone and added some of the detail to these pages come back and show you but for now I think I'm going to leave it I think the video is long enough and has, has shown you how to create um, a finished project from your prints that you've already created really happy with how it's turned out and and real just a nice way of using up a selection of prints that kind of go together so as always if you enjoyed this please leave me a thumbs up um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already do please check out the link to last week's video where we created these pages if you didn't see that um, because it will help if you know maybe give you some ideas on how to go about creating some cohesive um, prints that work well together but other than that that's it for today and I shall see you again soon bye